Over the past two years renovating this abandoned cabin and watching it transform into our dream homestead, every major project puts another one on the back burner. This is embarrassing. I can't believe we're showing this on national television. Where do we even start? What's the game plan? I don't even know how we let it get here. Yeah, we've definitely been putting this off. It's been a long time coming. I don't know what's worse, the garage or the black flies? The garage. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that's a, not a question. <laughs> this is gonna be a lot of work. <laughs> We're not just cleaning out this garage, or giving it an entire makeover. We are going to completely overhaul this space, taking it unfinished and unorganized and transforming it into a functional garage oasis. That way we'll be ready for a new season of major cabin renovations. To be honest with you, I am very unmotivated by this project. It is a heck of a job. There is so many things and so many projects being stored in this garage and the organization is lacking. It's gonna take us a long, long time to get to the end. The reality is, is we actually can't go any further until this garage is cleaned because having this cleaned and all of our tools and materials organized is gonna set us up for success for every project going forward. In that corner right there is our beautiful siding for the cabin. We've known all along and we cannot wait to do it, but we had to wait until our windows were done. If you missed that episode, you should watch it. I'll link it right here. It was transformational. With finally enough space to see the garage floor, we move on to relocating our cabin siding. And after moving too many boards to count, we secure it down with ratchet straps and prepare our tractor to use the forklifts for the very first time to pick up a very heavy load. Wish me luck. I am an amateur. I've probably spent a total of 16 hours on a tractor? Who believes in me? Write in the comments if you believe I can pick it up with the forklifts. I think we can all agree, Jasmine looks so good in that tractor. It's so cute. It was a rough landing. <laughs> Okay, yeah, very rough landing. That was my first time though. I am so proud. And I, I'm honestly speechless of how easy that was. I can't imagine hand bombing one by one. Forklift drivers, put your hand up in boop, the comments. Boop, boop. <laughs> I know there's lots of you out there. All right, let's see if I can do landing number two. Mucho smoother. So how did we get here? Well, after completely clearing the area, we excavated, leveled, and finished with stone. Anxiously navigated the building down the driveway. Then we wired electrical inside, insulated, and installed a stove. Built a battery house to store our off-grid power system. And then we filled it up with a bunch of junk. <laughs> Thank gosh my mama's got a tractor. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, girl. Yeah. <laughs> we have floor. You can finally see it. Woo, 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 woo. I've been looking everywhere for this. Found the hammer! Who are we? Literally. What kind of human did I just become? Not anymore. Time to donate and figure out what we want because we can't keep all this. There is literally no point. How times have changed. These used to be our showers. I actually can't get over this. I know. Voila! Is there a junk corner back there? But holy everyone. The siding and the walls gone. This is our, this is a lot of space. It really is, and it can be used so much better. Like, like what we could do with this space. Well, we already know what we're doing. We drew it up. Looks like a kindergarten drawing, <laughs> but we drew it up, and I can't wait to bring the vision to life. With just a handful of items remaining to be moved, we are nearing an empty canvas to start the transformation. Snagging one of our tarps from our firewood, we carefully cover all of our belongings to be stored at a later date. It's embarrassing to think that this blob was basically every single thing in this shed. This one is a big heavy load. It's 
just skimming the surface. I would give Crystal this one a day. That was not easy. Your first time heavy load. It was really heavy too. Now the material's right at the door. That's a game changer. You don't have to lift 40 pieces of plywood in there. <laughs> Look at that. That would have been a lot of Well, work. bam. You know when it calls for rain and you go, ah. Well, we're being proactive so we don't have to run out in the rain. You feel it coming. The storm is coming. Look it. Siding? Tarped. Is that your wedding dress? To be honest, a canvas tarp would be a pretty nice wedding dress and the galvanized ring would be even better. You hear that? Galvanized. Shove on your new exacto knife. <laughs> a lot of people wonder why we have grass, because obviously it's maintenance and stuff, but clearly we like to do stuff. But it's because of those two. So cute. Get a freaking video. I'm just enjoying the moment right now, but I'll get the video in one second. They're just so cute. They're double. Can't believe I gave birth to them. You're the bestest friends in the world. Yeah, you are. Day one of garage makeover complete. Morning, Snookies. Who's a You're a Snooky. You're a Snooky. We're all Snookies. <laughs> Uno sawhorse. Dos sawhorse. Has anyone ever figured out why they're called sawhorses? Good question. This would be the absolute worst, worst way to start the day, but I can't find the circ saw. I think it's in the pile. And Jazz goes, is it in the pile? Please the say no. Oh my gosh. I can't even fathom digging through all that stuff right now. I will. But I haven't seen it, so. So you look, so it's. Well, look again. In the pile, the hoarding pile. It's bad. Our bad hoardingness. Now that it's this clean in here, it's really hard to miss it. So my best guess is it's probably in the pile. It's far too clean already for it to be lost in here. It looks like we need to have a garage sale. <laughs> Who wants to come up and grow? Who wants to come buy stuff? This is exactly why we're doing this project because at the end of it, we will be able to find all of our belongings and it will be perfectly organized. But until then, so starts the search. Freaking dog. <laughs> How do you start a day like this? It makes me not have any motivation to even do anything. I hate this. I don't get it. I don't think it's here. It's gotta be in the house. It has to be over here then. Why wouldn't I keep it out? Like. I think it's probably in this one, which is under, under that. Found it! Oh my gosh. Now it's time to party! After what seemed like an eternity looking for our saw, it's time to tackle the walls of the garage. For this, we chose to finish it with plywood for both its simplicity of install and our general dislike of drywall. And find it suits well for this type of workspace. Back to doing the elliptical. Stairmaster? Stairmaster. I don't, I don't know, I don't go to the gym. I love this. I think this looks amazing. Looks like a garage, it has walls already. And putting up plywood is speedy fast compared to, you know, shiplap or any of that stuff that's piece by piece. Definitely learned about shiplap this winter in the cabin. What you just missed? Us getting unbelievably frustrated at trying to find any of the tools we need. And that's the reality. You are not set up for success when you want to do something if you don't know where the tools are to do it. And we have a lot of building this summer. We have a lot on the go, and that is driving us bonkers. Anyway, we're making do. It's just no way to be. While Jazz continues on, I want to tell you about our awesome online Patreon community. We have a texting group with our patrons where we talk about everything under the sun from upcoming projects, sending photos, videos, voice notes. So if you're looking for additional content, then this is for you. We also go live once a month with our community and it's basically like we're hanging out. It's super fun. On a weekly basis, we also upload photos and write-ups about what's going on behind the scenes. If you'd like to join the Patreon pack, go to patreon.com forward slash vanwives or click the link in the description. See you over there. Last piece. 
This wall is entirely done. By having walls in here, we are going to even double our square footage because now we're able to utilize the height because these are eight foot walls and hang bikes, hang tools on them. And that way we'll be super organized because we all know if we want a successful building season this summer, we are going to need to have a clean, organized space for all of our tools. And just for our brains, because honestly, we haven't even wanted to start some projects because all we do is open these doors and say, maybe tomorrow, can't be bothered. It said, a clean space is a clean brain. Izzy got in trouble for pooping in the garden, didn't ya? Izzy? Okay, Izzy. Who thinks Izzy should be allowed to go to the bathroom wherever she wants at nine years old? Let us know in the comments. Well, we're low on material. Classic. Well, we're not low yet. We're just being proactive and we realize that we're getting low. And the Home Depot's hitchhiker. We told them we had forks, but they said the truck doesn't go anywhere with its hitchhiker. Which makes sense. Why they come all out here just to do one delivery? Kind of makes sense now that I thought about it. Hopefully. I really want to finish this shed makeover. Let's see how I measured without my sidekick. Damn! Looks like I can do more than just cut. I think. I'm a little further. I don't even want to attempt that by myself while Crystal on the phone ordering. I'm gonna start above the door here. I gotta make an L. Upside down L. Because I love you all. Love you all. Wait. I don't even know. Crystal, you're still on the phone or you on the concession board? Yes? <gasps> I knew you were at the concession stand. I'm still on hold. Oh. Multitasking? The system keeps crashing. The what? The system keeps crashing. Man, everything's broken, eh? You <gasps> are? Is that a cookie? It's a stroop waffle. Oh my goodness. So just to confirm, we've got 15 pieces of the 11 millimeter sanded fur, good one side. Yeah, you heard that right. We're short 15 boards. The whole ceiling. <laughs> I forgot about the ceiling. Who are we? You ready to work now, kid? One side to the other. With more materials ordered and a surge of caffeine, we push forward on the other wall. We can feel the momentum building as this transformation has been a long time coming. Okay, well, Crystal cuts the rest of the boards. I am going to wire up all of our plugs because it's something that I always don't want to do by the end of the project. So I just do it while I'm in it. Then I'll be super happy. Okay, 7 p.m. I'm officially covered in sawdust because this garage is actually 34 by 12. Is that right? Yeah, good job. It's 34 by 12. I never remember. I never remember. <laughs> that means it's super, super long. So like to really get all the way down there. You're stepping 34 feet. It's quite far. So we've officially put walls on this side. Whoop. And this side. Whoop. <laughs> we started working today at about 9.30, 10 o'clock in the <laughs> Working with Jasmine after, you know, Nine, ten hours. I have an expiry. Is a joy. <laughs> an absolute joy. She gets tired, but she doesn't want to stop. And she keeps going. She gets grouchy. Here we are. Sick. You have a nice stance on cutting. Who taught you? I'm a pro. If you could only see how straight my lines are. As straight as you. Bingo, bingo, bongo! Let it be daytime again. All the batteries are dying around here. All the Dewaltys, all the Boshies, the Jazzies, and the Crystalies. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> last piece! Woo! Last, and, then the last piece. and then the walls are done. The walls are done. Beautiful moon is out. <laughs>
Cabin lights are on. We, we had Yo, nice spotlight, eh? Yeah, it's great. We had wave number two, and we accomplished it. So. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Thanks, lady. Thanks so much. Home Depot's hitchhiker might be broken, but mine's not. <laughs> Got it. It might have hit the bag of dog poo in the back, so <laughs> we might have a stinky, a stinky situation. We got dog shit on our plywood. Who puts dog shit in the back of the cap? Dog shit. Oh my gosh. This is like the worst thing I've ever seen. We need to cut the plywood. But we got it. Hello? 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 Let's all take a guess where Crystal is. Ready? On three. One, two, three. Greenhouse! Lady! It's dry. <laughs> it's hot in here. <laughs> we have a garage makeover to do. Today was a big day on the garage makeover. We went to Home Depot. <laughs> and now we are gonna paint this floor because the floor has gotten destroyed already and it's only been less than a year since we've owned it. We are painting the floor with garage floor paint, which will prevent it from getting wet, beveling, and chipping, which is ideal in a space like this because you don't want to be walking on your tippy toes in here. Are you ready? Yeah, girl, we're ready. This is handy. You might need some paint on your brush. I'm happy. This is gonna be Crack Good. it. Good decision here. To be honest, Crystal didn't even pull a brush out for me. You hate painting. I know. I'm surprised you even want a brush, to be honest. <laughs> is there actual sand in here? Mm-hmm, you got texturized. That's kind of cool, eh? Oh, this is weird. This is actually awful. <laughs> Are we even sure this is good paint? Did anyone do any research? Well, I guess the joke's on me. This is the first time I've used a product like this. While it will be a fantastic sealant, we just didn't know it would be so awkward to roll on. <laughs> and it's testing the patience of Jasmine. Crystal thinks they should get more B-roll of painting. Do you all agree it's over and done with? I think we, we understand what the frig is going on here. Paint moving with roller. Hates painting, hates filming painting. It's boring, man. Like, you see the same thing. It's actually really nice. It looks really clean, and I have to say, for the amount of cans we used, I'm very impressed with how far it went. Yes, and I like it, what it looks like against the ply. Sorry, I'm hitting you with my thing. I kind of like it. I, I give it 10 stars. Me too. I, I like it a lot. I like it. How's Crystal's world? Crystal's world, she's in her own world. <laughs> <laughs> All the time. Um, yeah, who left their phone and their water bottle in the middle of the freshly painted floor room? On the wood stove, everyone. Yep, yeah. right there. Right there in the middle of the room. And is the back door completely blocked by furniture? Yes, is the only entrance to this one where we just painted. Yes. But. What are you gonna do? We don't need that. Let's go for one wheel. I'm going to bed. Not yet. <laughs> They love me more! Moment of truth. How's it look? There's Interesting. Something. It still needs, obviously, more coats. This is very cool. Yeah. It's like rubber. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. That's what you want in the garage. We're not going to start off with painting because then you can't do anything for so many hours. That's why I don't like painting. It's just so boring and you have to wait so long. I just want to do stuff. See that? That's the ceiling that we need to fix. Well, bring to life. It's now time to tackle the garage ceiling. We first take all of the measurements for the lights to ensure symmetry across every panel. Hopefully I didn't make any mathematical mistakes. And with our markings in place, we grab our trusty hole saw with just a minor setback. Literally broke. Why are we using the jigsaw? Hmm. Our mandrel? Mandrel. Mandrel. Broke. What right now. Thing? First time. The first time we ever touched wood, it just snapped. <laughs> snapped. Yeah, it's a friggin' metal one. And it's a lemon. Yeah, see? It's gonna take a lot longer. <laughs> we make do with our beloved jigsaw using the broken hole saw to trace, and we are ready to put up our first piece. Let me try all over again. Oh! It's my ladder, not just The camera! Did it 
hit the camera? I don't know. Camera's good. After dropping the plywood and getting mixed up with measurements, this is feeling a lot like drywall. We might have underestimated just how hard it's going to be. I'm just thinking how much this is gonna suck. Okay, that definitely was not fun. The reward definitely pays off. So now we need to do five four by eight half inch sheets of plywood all the way down the length of the garage and then it should get a little bit easier. How much do you love doing ceilings? I actually don't mind it because it looks so good. I'm happy with it now. Okay, but take yourself back five minutes ago. Yeah, it was pretty brutal. We were thinking of returning this for ship up? <laughs> yeah, literally. I stepped into the fire, got no fear, I walked a while. Bang, bang, deep in my drum, kicking up dirt cause I'm on the run. About time I'll break the dawn, choose a side cause the line is wrong. This is hard work! I'm gonna die at the age of 35, literally. As difficult as installing a ceiling is, we are so happy with our decision to use plywood. With the heavy centerpieces completed, we are finally catching our stride and we move on to the sides. Oh, and it keeps moving! Never, 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 never. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if we look wrecked, but we are wrecked by putting that ceiling up. We put up six pieces today and <laughs> it was just, she's yawning. It was just a lot and it was great. I mean, I, we do love it. It looks fantastic. It's a plywood garage and plywood's the dream. But we are stopping now because we know our limits and we're gonna do something else. We're showing us painting it. Coat number two. Yeah, girl, give her a. Good afternoon. We've been putting up the ceiling all day today. Pretty much done except for the back half where all of our stuff is. But let's just say working with plywood is hard. <laughs> really hard. That's a lot of trim. For a lot of imperfections. So you see that gap? Not nice. We were doing very well though, let me tell you that much. And then that changed. Of course. Of course. And then I remembered, there is such thing as plywood tongue and groove. And who forgot about that until also, all the plywood pieces are up? I think plywood seems easy, but it has to be so square, like to get it perfect. If you have tongue and groove, it just goes in him. <laughs> But you think? We forgot, we forgot. However, I do think um, craftsman people, yeah. like wood people can- Craftsman do, people. <laughs> can do it. The walls look nice though, really good. Uh, you know what? Like, but I think we're just, we're just gonna go for a different vibe. We're just going with the flow here and uh, we're gonna throw up some nice trim because who doesn't like trim? No plan is the best plan. I love trim. Let's do it. Dunzo. I am very happy with our ceiling now. Not gonna lie, I was like, this looks like trash, Crystal Whistle. But now, chef's kiss. All I have to say, LOL. What's LOL? Painting again. Oh gosh, this floor in the end is gonna be four coats. Or how many coats? A lot. Three or four? A lot. Three. But looking at the roof right now, it looks so good. And I'm envisioning us having the best summer, trying to find our tools, walking in and taking it right off the wall. It's all gonna be worth it. Welcome back today. I have no idea of the garage transformation. Currently, it is the hottest place on earth right now. Kidding, that's probably Death Valley. Okay, what do we call today? Moving in. We're moving in. So if Jasmine hasn't given you the update, the full ceiling, the, all the walls and the floor are nearly done. There's some final trimming and touches to be done, but at this moment in time, there's truly no point in going forward until we start to move everything into its forever home. Build some things, put some shelves up, get it going, get it flowing. We're gonna start flowing. Our design has changed since we first drew at this garage, so we're gonna have to probably move things around for the next 25 minutes. 
see what we like, because you know, there's no better way to test it than actually being in it. Pen and paper, not to scale, only does so much, you know. So here we go. As we get started, it seems we're missing the pins for our dolly. While living in the woods, you need to learn to MacGyver things. I just found a screw. But it's nothing a few screws can't fix. How are you so lively? I'm dying of heat. I love the heat. Have we not just endured the longest winter of our lives? The longest, loneliest winter of my life. And? <laughs> and it's summer now, baby! Yeah, girl! <laughs> Come on, baby! No, we got a flat tire! Shit. We got two flat tires! <laughs> Well, back to the pile to find our air compressor. After our cooling off and filling up the tires, we put our girl power to the test, using everything we got to move this metal cabinet. Come on! We did it. Oh, the door opened. Wait, pull back, pull back. We slowly and carefully maneuver it into place. And oddly enough, I'm overwhelmed with the complexity of... Okay. Whose idea was this? Yours! This does not look fun. Weird, right? Since when do I not like instructions? And with the cabinet clear, it's time to test. Stop you in the locker! <laughs> I saw Mr. Stronger than you. You're going in the locker. I'm going in the locker. I was going to put myself in the locker. We <gasps> yeah, later and stay there for a week. Principal! One thing I can say about this, the instructions look complicated, but the hardware seems fantastic. And that's a rarity. <laughs> I'll show you how it's done. Okay. Remember who won shot put everyone? Let's go. Winner. All right, this work side is almost complete. We are hesitant to put anything onto the wall yet because we change our minds, like I've said. But now, we're moving to the back of the garage. Now, what are we going to call this space? Um, well, it's going to be multi-purpose. What is it? I don't know what it's going to be. But anyways, deep freezer. Is all of our gardening, like tomatoes and things like that, we're going to squash them and we're going to freeze them. Look at this. It's massive, everyone. Can you help me? I think it's the other way. Oh. No, it's not. So we're talking Damn. like all of the harvest from the summer, frozen, ready to go and be eaten in the winter, in your chili, in your soups, for dinner. She's ready. I literally just can't get over how big this garage looks. I was just saying, like, <laughs> organization, it's gonna, just, it's gonna feel great. Like, Look at that shelf already. Look at this container, like, all the spray paint is gonna have a home paint. Look what we found, everyone. <laughs> Y'all remember this? So cute. We actually talked about hanging it up in our garage when we moved here. Three years later, here we go. It's so cute. Love it! Love. Where it all started. Love. In the van. That's cute. I love it. Considering the state of the garage, as you all saw, everything was absolutely everywhere. So we are making piles, electrical, plumbing, painting, outdoor stuff, f the fun garage stuff. Let's Leg bolt, construction things. You ready? Let's how many hours? How many hours do you think this is gonna take to go through all of our belongings? I don't want to think about that. I don't think about that until you start. We thinking had about a that. friend come in here, and the, the first thing they said to us was, "What did they say? What was? What they happened saying? to you? What happened to you?" And we were like, "What?" And they're like, "You lived in a van. We living in a van with nothing to a full blown garage and that you couldn't tools. walk into. Yeah. Here we are. It's echoey in here. Anyone who has a garage or shed will just get it." Maybe. They just fill. It's just way it goes. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to Garage Makeover. We lost you for a few hours, but that's because we have demolished the pile of stuff. And the garage has demolished us. And the stuff has a new meaning. It has a place, almost. We are just currently still making piles and moving things around, but it's looking fairly empty considering how much is in there and considering how much that pile has gone down. So I'm proud of us. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna show you the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sky that we're having this evening. Nice little pink haze. Anyway, come take a peek at this because it's pretty epic. And you're exhausted. And crusty. You should go inside. <laughs> So the stuff was out to here, obviously. Now you're just seeing a whole lot of wood, which is a very good sign. 
And there's a little bit left back there. Good job, Boogie. Thank you, too. See you tomorrow. First steps first this morning. Cover. Oh, no. Supposed to rain. Second step, we need to connect our breaker to the panel box so that way we have power because oh, we need some light in this dark garage. There. Oh, yeah. No more running extension cords. Bye bye. <laughs> extension cords, city. Power in the shed, eh? Power in the shed, that's power wild. Power in the shed. P -p -p power in the shed. <laughs> Okay, I guess that's the third step today. I love her. She's today is the day when the shed ridge finally is going to get a complete transformation. This is probably going to be the most exciting day where you see everything take shape. Are you bears ready or what? Because I've been waiting all day for you. This dog is so sweet. They're still going. Look at her face. <laughs> Look at her face. That is so perfect. That is so perfect. That big tool, that big tool, some of these big tools. And that big tool. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're all getting a home. And we're gonna build it. Would you look at that organization already? Alex, you can't get over it. I'm like, where are gloves? Oh, in the glove drawer. Where's the measuring tape? Right there. Where's the pencil? Right there. We're saving hours. After a few days cleaning and organizing, today is the day where it all comes together. We are going to build a workbench and a storage area out of scrap two by fours. We are hours away from the transformation. <laughs> Okay, we're having so much fun building our beautiful structure ourselves. And we just did a simple structure out of butt joints, which are the strongest joints, so they say. I don't know how true that is, so I could be lying to you while telling you something I'm misinformed with. But anyways, they're super strong, as you can see. That workbench is going nowhere. Too small? Way too small. Really? Oh my god, did I cut it the wrong f***ing way? Nobody's gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. Except for all of you. Don't you love building stuff on your own? With you. Like, no, but I mean like, no, I mean like... Not those. This. Yeah, like making your own thing is more fun. Way more fun. <laughs> With the bottom shelf now installed, we fasten the workbench to the wall for that finishing touch. We cut some pieces of trim with our favorite milled wood. The trim is done. Now we are going to cut the quartz countertop. Just kidding. We're gonna have a plywood nice, a nice plywood top here. <gasps> Look at Bella and her squirrel. I know, how cute. Oh, it's back. I love watching her stance. Everyone do the Bella. You're ruining her cover, lady. Literally, nothing breaks that dog's focus. I just put the camera basically in her face. <laughs> She's still doing it, even as you barking. Oh my goodness. I'm really, really liking the way this is turning out, considering we really just winged it. Eh? Pretty good, anger. Hello. That looks so sick. Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy with this. This is gonna last a million years. This is like double duty, two gals are working in the woods kind of work table. <laughs> Did you forget where you're building for a second? Maybe. Work table. All right, okay. Eager Beaver had to stop. No, 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 not Eager Beaver. Celebration time. We are pretty much done here, so. I had to stop you in your tracks though. You're right. All right, we don't know where everything's going yet, but we just need to see something on the tool bench. Absolutely love. Love. Looks so nice. I'm very happy about that. So next, I think we should put this up together because... All right, we still have this much room to build something and this whole wall to build something. Can you say organization? Because I can. 
Yes, this is where it goes. This makes a lot more this sense. This is a tome. Love that. I have to say, <laughs> I'm just walking around today and I'm smiling because it just looks like a garage, finally. <laughs> I was just admiring you, screwing that in. Looking at the floor, looking around, like, we're doing good. And this looks like a great home for all of our variety pack screws. Not gonna lie, as we are giving this garage a makeover, I never thought the day would come where I could see the finish line. And it is seriously giving me the best feelings ever. We are setting ourselves up for a successful summer, let me tell you that much. A lot of big builds ahead, and you can't do any builds with no tools. As the rain falls down over the cabin, our excitement builds as we are so close to the finish line. For the first time since moving here, we will have an organized and dedicated space for all of our belongings. Finding homes for the chainsaws, chargers, ladders, and bikes. A place to even wash our dirty hands after a work day. We can't help but to look forward to what's to come. Welcome to the Garage Makeover Tour. Before we even get in here, let's just remember where we started. The Garage Makeover is more than just a place to store our tools. It is an area where we can research future projects, make up material lists, enjoy a coffee midday, and have a place to actually sit down and do some work outside of building. So over here, this is a beautiful table with a beautiful this is a beautiful table. This is a stand-up movable table with a very comfortable chair where you can find yourself sitting for a few hours discussing an upcoming project. Beside each of these tables is incredible storage. Organization has been key. We dedicated this closet to all of our nails, our screws, socket set, and extension cords. These needed major organization. They were all over the garage, as you can remember, in every bag and in every crevice. And now we know what we have, and they're organized in containers and different sizes. It's nice to be able to see these are the deck screws, these are our construction screws, you know? We use these literally every day, so thank gosh. You can see it. Like, I love being able to open this and be like, I've got them. Not digging through something. Yeah. How's the garage coffee? Perfect afternoon pick me up. <laughs> I got garage one. coffee's delicious. I actually love it. To the right of the desk is all of the necessities and miscellaneous items that we need on almost a daily basis. Things like tape, zip ties. We've got our chargers, our multimeters, plumbing, electrical, and extra coffee mugs for friends. Boshi got a home up here. <laughs> Boshies. We got the subwoofer radio <laughs> and the light, which is awesome because when you want them and you can't find them, I just can't explain to you how it feels to walk in here and be like, there is the light. Also, our lights haven't come in the mail yet. But so. soon we will have full functioning lights in here that turn on with a switch. switch. The best part of the entire garage makeover the workbench! We are so passionate about this area because we made this ourselves, as you all saw. We have enough space for both of us and a pal to be here, and Bella and Izzy. <laughs> they love it, and I mean, the pack, hello, we love you all, and this just seems so fitting for this area. Everything has a home, you know where your measuring tapes are, the drills, the, the hammers, everything is Perf the batteries? Can we talk about the batteries the having charger? a charger? The charger on the wall. It's glorious. There's power here. And underneath we have storage for all of our big heavy duty tools like our nail guns, our compressor, vacuum, table saw. Pile Even cutter. the miter saw has a home up here. Yeah, that's pretty luck. It's a game changer. Walking into this space knowing that we can set up shop, we can build in here and craft up Whatever we're working on, or having the space is important. Or just come grab a tool. Yeah. Hey, I need my nail gun. Yeah. Boom. When we envisioned the garage makeover, the workbench was the... Everything. Center of attention? <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> and it is. 
<laughs> there we go. It's stunning. I love it so much, so much, so much, so much. Yep. Here's your coffee. Thank you. A little espresso. Well, pick me up. This is the organization station. Talking every little bit and piece that you can imagine is all here. Scissors. Scissors are here. Safety glasses. We've got them. Over here. Exacto knives. Knives. Pencils, markers, pens, wood glue. You name it. You want to open these? Right. Want to open a hardware store? Are you ready to <laughs> drool? Oh! Organization station. Just open them all. Let's Organization see. station. Okay, one second. I think we might have a caulking problem for sure. Yeah, but at least now. We're not gonna buy anymore. We know we have it in clear black and white. This is the safety station. We're talking work belts, earmuffs, gloves. Harnesses. Masks. It's all here. What's in the next one? Surprise for me too. Extra saw blades, sandpaper. Oh my goodness. Yeah. What do we call this place? This place? The pack shed. Oh, this is the pack, the pack shed. Of course it's the pack shed. Climate control in here is super important because if you've been here for a little while, you'll know that in here we have our battery house, which houses our off-grid electrical system. We have three ways to control the climate in here. The first being the wood stove. There's two primary sources. The heat pump or the mini split, which we just installed. They are fantastic. They're super energy efficient and they not only heat, but they cool, which will be critical in the very hot, hot summer days. That being said, there are basically no windows in here. There's a small one at the back and we have wool insulation in the walls. So heating and cooling in here is not entirely difficult to be honest. And when we're not here, something like the heat pump or the propane heater can be running that way. Peace of mind. We don't have to worry about it. Exactly. Yeah. Or if one goes down, you got a friend. Everyone likes friends. Yeah, everyone loves a good wood stove. This area, nice and open for all our toys like bicycles, one wheels, got a charger here for it. A plug. This <laughs> is ridiculous. There is so much in here. Label. Jasmine's labeled them all from electrical, fun, miscellaneous, painting or boring, <laughs> and like paint. Like this is like everything that everyone's garage has, but it's now organized. This took us probably the most time to get through, probably a full day to get through all of this. We made piles of every individual thing as you saw. Look at it now. Look at it now. Look at me now. <laughs> okay. I've never held a hockey stick in my life. If you can't tell, those are Jasmine's. <laughs> we decided to put a freezer in here for a few reasons. This year on the homestead, we are growing way more food than ever before. Berries, apples, pears, vegetables of all sorts, we wanna freeze them. We are freezing our vegetables because we wanna be able to eat them fresh from our gardens in the middle of the winter. And we can do that if we have them here frozen. And then we can be eating from our own food supply throughout the whole year, which is ideal. And spending less money at the grocery store. Spending less money at the grocery store. Let's picture. Because it hasn't come in the this mail This is going to be a stainless steel table so for can... preparation, washing veggies. You may remember some trenching that we did in a horrible, horrible time of year. Last year, deep in the trenches with the black flies. Well, we have plumbing in here, which means we can have running water. So when we're done working for the day, if we're real mucky, we can come in here, drop our clothes, wash off and walk back to the house naked and not make a mess on my floor. I love this whiteboard my whole life. You want to see everything else we've got going on? This is our list for the year. Oh, it's it's up. upside down. Chainsaw station. These are my pants. <laughs> this is my helmet. This is my saw. <laughs> Pretty sweet. It can charge right here. And you know what? Right it there. just, it needs a home because like the last thing I want is my bar getting bent or, you know. My bar getting bent. We went around and we saw the garage, but I didn't mention the fact that when we walked in here, there were no walls, there was no ceiling, and there was no floor. We have beautiful ply 
all the way around. We're gonna keep it exactly how it is. We're not painting it. I freaking love it. It feels like a workshop. She hates, and this she hates ply painted. <laughs> And this I heard floor. all about that. <laughs> no, it's beautiful. I, love I know, it. but I asked to paint it white and you said I hate pie, plywood painted. Yeah. So here we point? are. I like it better too, plywood. It's beautiful. Yep. And the floor. You saw us paint it. It is a, so far, holding up very well. We'll keep you updated. It's this durable rubber coating and I think it's going to be great for waterproofing, walking in here with winter boots, um, dropping tools, not denting the floor anymore. I'm very impressed with it. And... What else? I think that's it. That's probably it. I love my garage. Do you love your garage? I love my garage. Yeah, I'm very happy with how it turned out. It was very much worth the time. Every mile, every mile on my mind leads to you. It leads to you. Every mile, every mile on my path leads to you. prepared for a busy building season. You ready to get to it? I'm ready. We're gonna be so efficient. Thanks for spending a whole seven days with us. Like probably even eight. I think you might be a day. I do the files direct. Short. I know what they are. <laughs> okay. Love you back. Love you back. See you next Sunday. Ciao. Pause up for garage makeover. Pause up there. What's wrong with you? You hyped? She's so tired.